Welcome back to another Monday drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. This lesson's called Getting Started with Alternating 16th Note Drum Beats. And that's when you have alternating 16th notes on the hi-hat, and that means right, left, right, left, right, left. And for this lesson, you'll need the sheet music called Getting Started, Alternating 16th Notes, and you can get that for free at OnlineDrummer.com. The sheet begins with a practice template, and what that is is just a suggestion on how to practice these grooves. So following that template, I'd play number one three times and then play a drum fill. The reason I think it's good to practice grooves that way is because it more closely resembles what you would do in a song. It's one thing to be able to play that groove, you kind of st stop thinking about it, but if you have to leave that groove and come back, that can be more difficult. So let's take a look at number one. Even though these grooves are designed for beginners, uh, you'll find these grooves in, in chart topping songs all over the place. Number one, one D and the two D and the three D and the four D and the one D and the two D and the three D and the four D and the the sticking pattern, right, left, right, left, comes off the hi hat on two and four. Bass on one and three. Bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare. I'll do that once with the practice template, and remember that the drum fill is just improvised. Beat number two has what we commonly refer to as four on the floor. One, two, three, four. Plays the quarter notes. If you speed that up, it makes a good like disco or dance rhythm. And number three. Number four, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E. Number five. Number six. And number seven. And finally, number eight. Once you get comfortable with those, some people like to break it up. Put the right stick on the ride and the left stick on the hi hat, so you still have your 16th notes when you end the three. So I'll play number eight that way. And you can move it to the ride bell to make it stand out more. Hope you enjoyed these grooves to get started with. They're basic patterns, and uh, I will be posting more lessons on this topic gradually getting a little more uh, advanced. Have a great week of drums. Check back on Friday for my Friday drum fill lesson, and that'll be posted to OnlineDrummer.com. Alex Ribchester will have a video drum lesson on Thursday, and throughout the week we'll be posting beats. Uh, we got some quizzes coming up, a lot of cool stuff. So check out OnlineDrummer.com and keep drumming.